I'd like to encourage you if you if you like what you see and you're finding benefit in it, please hit the like and then and click on subscribe and uh, we'll be glad to have you along with us. We'll let you know when we're putting more videos up that way. I'm Dennis of Capital Training and Shoeing. Colt I'm on here is a two-year-old by my stallion, One Brilliant Desire. He belongs to Deb Lux, we're in Illinois. And uh, this will be the third time that I've worked him on this flag. He's, he's got, you know, he's pretty green yet, but, but uh, anyway, Besides all that, this flag is a tool that I use to allow me to position a horse so that later on when we've, when we've got him in front of cattle, it's easier to get him in position to be able to have an advantageous control of the cow. I always try to, I always try to set my horses up to where they have the advantage and uh, that builds their confidence and, and helps them to uh, to understand their job. When a horse understands his job, you can you can turn them loose and they'll be be glad to do it. But this this flag that I'm working, it is from a company called Pro Cutter and I don't get any kickback from them, but I, I really like this flag. This particular one has a ball on it and I really like that ball as opposed to a, a flat flag. Uh, reason being is it is it doesn't seem to scare a horse. I think I think it's the, the diameter of it and it doesn't change when it goes by, it stays the same shape and that these colts aren't bothered by it. Um, the flag itself, uh, and most horses were just petrified of it when they first see it move. And it, it's not unusual for that to happen. They, they, these cow horses have been red, bred for generations to jump every time they see something move. So it's not unusual for them to be a little jumpy. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to keep this horse's eye even with that, that flag. And when that flag moves, I want him to wait and let that flag pull him through. So what I'm looking for is for this horse to, to get in position to stop that flag, which that's where he is right now. His eye is even with that, 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 that would be, he would have his eye right in a cow's eye. And, and a fresh cow will stop right there. And by fresh cow, I mean one that hasn't been worked before. A cow that's been worked, they, they don't honor that anymore. And that's the detriment in working sour cattle on a young horse because when the horse steps up to where a cow should stop and that cow said, I don't care, I'm going on anyway, it starts taking the confidence out of a horse. So, so these flags are tools that, that can keep that confidence building so when they get presented in that situation, they don't take it so seriously and get scared. And hopefully, anyway, you know, anything, anything can happen. It, it's a, it's quite a process to teach a horse how to do this. So I, I thought you'd enjoy coming along the journey. The first, the first thing I want my horses to do is, is to travel forward. I want them to stop straight. I want them to think back. They don't necessarily have to to step back but I want them to think back. And I'll sit on the outside of my horse, which is the right side, and open my left leg up so that they can come through. And that's what we call coming across a cow. If I can get that horse to move his shoulders all the way across the cow, when that cow is committed to go in a direction, then I'm in position to simply ride up there and stop that cow. And when that cow stops and goes back the other direction, then we're gonna pull back and we're gonna open up that right leg, let that left leg help him through. Now he's all the way across on the other side. So that's what you're gonna see me doing as I travel across the pen. I, a lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll create a little V and I'll ride that horse up into a V and when I get back even with that flag, I'll let him face up right there. This is what we, we call coming back to the middle of a cow. If, if my horse is thinking about getting in this position, when he's out there, he's, he's not thinking about going out that way. And that, that becomes very important because it, uh, we want a horse to stay hooked on that cow. We want a horse to be watching the cow and letting the cow tell the horse where to go. And that, so it, it's, a, it's a process, it's a lot of fun, it takes a lot of thought. What I'm thinking about when I'm up here is keeping my eyesight focused on that, 
on that flag, I know where it's going to go because I've got the control of my hand. And uh, But I still got to keep my eye on it. And because I'm slightly to the left of it, I'm going to take it to the right. I'm going to step him first, step him up to it. See, he's getting even cautious about coming to it. He, he got left behind. He was standing there flat-footed because I stood there talking so long. And, uh, and he, he got out ran. So it's my job to hurry him right there to get in position so that he can, he can help. Right there, he was thinking about going out to the left. So I had to bring him back to the, to the flag. Better. If he'll come back here sooner, he doesn't have to make such a big move. You see how I sat down and waited on him? Now I'm going to let him sit right here and let him know this is where I want you to be, even with that cow. Take him up to the back of it. I'm going to take it to the left. That time, he was wanting to hang behind it, which is what we call stand short. And I like him to think about stand short, but it, at the same time, he needs to listen to me to, and let me step up there where he could stop that cow. Because if he stays, if he stays too short, you know, he's just going to chase the cow from wall to wall, and we want to be able to control that cow. And that, so I, I want him to, to build his confidence back there short, but I also want him to have enough confidence that he can get out there long and, and get back. He was a little reluctant to come across that cow that time. So I'm going to go back to the left. I like that. He took himself right on up there where he needed to be. I didn't. I wasn't doing anything but sitting there. I'm gonna take him back up to it. And he wanted to go too far down here. So rather than than just pull on him to stop him. I'm going to implement a mind game here with him. And when he goes past the next time, I know he's going to go past because he's done it every time I've come this way. When he goes past, I'm going to turn him up into there and just keep circling until I send the flag off the other way and then I'll let him, I'll let him go catch it. I'm going to just let him go and see he went on. So I'm going to just turn him around here. He's looking off to the left, to the right. I'm going to let him go. Oh, look at there. <laughs> he stopped on his own that time because of what I did. Now, because this is only his third work, and that is such a beneficial thing, that's a very good quitting place. And, uh, you know, if I can show this horse that if he tries hard and he does the thing that I want him to do with some enthusiasm, and that gets me to quit, that's going to be a lot better for him than just chasing that thing back and forth and wearing his mind and his legs out. <laughs> We did a little bit, got a real good response, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna just simply get off right here, loosen that saddle up, which is absolutely the best treat you can give a horse is take all this stuff off of them and let them be horses. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and this is the beginning stages of what I think is going to be a very nice colt.